Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm the Terrain and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own custom Minecraft logo with whatever words you want in there, you know. You can have doo-doo fart in there, that's, that's pretty funny. I've seen a lot of tutorials on how to do this, but all the programs that they show are paid for and I know that some of my viewers are broke. So we're going to be doing it in paint.net, which is a free software that you can do. And we're also going to install a plugin that allows us to do it, but it's free. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. But before we start, uh, go check out my Twitter. I'm making a custom Elytras every single day for like 30 days. And then at the end, I give it to you. So it's, it's a pretty swag pretty swag little thing so go follow that now I'm in paint.net right now for just one simple uh, task I'm gonna go up to image over here and I'm gonna click on resize and I'm gonna set this to 1920 by 1080 you don't need to do this but I like having a higher resolution for my images and I'm just gonna hit the delete key and now we got a blank background these little squares mean that it's transparent next thing I'm gonna do is go over to Google Chrome or whatever browser you want and I'm gonna go into the top search bar and I'm gonna type in TRs monolithic like that if you spell it wrong it should autocorrect and it's a 3d text generator for paint.net this is a plugin that you can download it's completely free and it allows you to make 3d text but this is super ugly don't do that so what you got to do is uh scroll down here and uh it says tr is monolithic right over here you can click on that and it will download a zip file you can click on that and open it up in Flat explorer once it's in here it should be in a zip folder and you will see that it's a dll that stands for do like light like a moth i'm just going to click on extract all and you can just click extract and now it should be in a downloads folder now all you got to do is right click on it hit cut and now we're going to go over to documents uh i got one over here called where is it paint on app files go to effects and then just paste it in over here. I think I already have one, yep, right there. So you can just paste it in, and now it will be in your paint.net uh, application. Now to generate this, all we're gonna need to do is go up to effects, and now there should be something called text formations, and there's one called tiers monolithic. Ignore all this other stuff, you should not have this, but I just have it, so tiers monolithic. And you'll see a few things over here. Number one, you'll see input text. This is where you can type whatever you want to make your text. I'm gonna type in doo doo fart, that's pretty funny. And the, <laughs> there we go. And it'll show up on this side and it will say doo doo fart or whatever you want to type in here. You can type in uh, the, the. I'll also leave a link in the description to a font that you should download in order to get the actual Minecraft title font. It should be called Minecrafter. There's two different versions that I have. Uh, I like this cracked one more because it resembles the actual uh, font a little bit better. But of course, this does not look anything like the Minecraft logo for a good reason. The colors are doo-doo. So what we're going to do is go over here to this glow and we're going to just click on this and we're going to go over to define custom colors. And this is where you have to import a custom color. So over in red, I'm going to type in the number 173. In green, I'm going to type 160. And in blue, I'm going to type 157. And this will give you this this poop kind of gray color it looks kind of nasty but that's the color that you want and it'll automatically update due to fart next up we got to go down to face and instead of making it blue we're going to set the red to 222 the green to 205 and the blue to 202 and now you get this lighter poop color and now we got this nice color it doesn't look too great uh, that's because there's a highlight over here of white so we're gonna go over to highlight back here I'm gonna set it to black and then I'm gonna go over into the color picker and make it a little bit lighter maybe 15 just to make it not entirely black and I'm gonna do the same thing with the mid shade of 15 ish like that and the final thing that we're gonna do is go over to shade and in shade we're gonna set this to 37 35 and for blue 38 like that you're probably gonna need to pause the video at the numbers because uh it's confusing and numbers are dumb but this still does not look like the minecraft logo because it's not really angled at all so what we're gonna do is go over to this setting that says pitch and we're gonna set this to negative 20. i think negative 20 is the good number you can set it to like negative 15 if you want and it doesn't really matter it looks kind of similar i'm gonna just do negative 20 it's what i always stick with i'm also going to change the depth of this this way our actual uh text goes a little bit further back so i'm going to set this to about you know, 400 425 yeah, that's fine and the final thing that i'm going to do is increase the zoom which makes the image uh, a lot bigger and because we made our canvas so big it should fit snuggly snuggly that's a whack word and finally click on okay and now you will have your text 
beautiful. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is add a drop shadow to this entire thing. I will leave a link to the drop shadow plugin in the description. I showed you how to install the other one, so you should know how to do it, but uh, just refer back to that section if you need. And I'm gonna go down to effects, object. You should only see drop shadow. I have AA's assist and all that, but drop shadow. And we're gonna set the blur radius to zero and the widening radius to about 15. Actually a little bit less. I'm gonna set mine to 13 and when I click okay, you will now see that we actually have a Minecraft logo that says doo doo fart because that's just freaking hysterical. And that is the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe, uh, do the Twitter thing. That's a, that's a good idea. Also join my Discord server because you can talk about resource packs with other people there and it's a nice little community for you to hang out. And uh, I think that's it. So uh, thank you for watching. I'm the Terrain. Peace out.